Hello, welcome to episode 2 of this tutorial series. We will deal with how to connect a MIDI controller like the X Touch Compact, or BCF2000, or Midikin to Grandma 3 via OSC. If you have not yet watched part 1, I would highly recommend to watch that first. It gives a general overview about what we are doing here. First thing we do, is power on the MIDI device. It seems to initialize, but all three current devices I had, do not initialize correctly. We have to switch to layer B and back. More about that error and on another issue with the X-Touch Compact, is in the video description. Before buying a X-Touch Compact, please read that. First, you will have to download the Chatane version for your operating system. Then, start Chatane. Don't worry. We do not use all the windows. Important for us are the module window, the logger window, and the inspector window. In the module window, we click the plus symbol and add MIDI as a protocol. Let's drag that window to the left and resize it a bit. As input output device, we select the X touch. You can select any MIDI device that is connected, even a MIDI keyboard. The auto add feature is helpful in determining what note or control change a fader or button on the X touch is sending. We see, the master fader sends a CC9. The CC109 is from touching the fader. CC26 is one of my X touch inherent errors. Let's add the grand MA3 module by clicking plus again. Scroll down to get more modules. Select Grandma 3. After installation, again click on the plus sign, scroll down to software and select Grandma 3. Set 8000 as the TCP IP port used. Let's do a mapping of the master fader. We need the state machine and there, we add a new state. There, we create a mapping. We select Control Change 1 from the MIDI menu and rename it. Under Filters, we just select Remap. More on that later. Under Output, we select Grandma 3 and Grandmaster. Seems to work, let's have a check. In on PC, we have to check and enable the OSC settings. Therefore, we go to menu, and there to in and out. I have several channels active, however, we need only channel 1. You can give it a name, but important is to set the address, in our case 8000. Most of the settings can remain as they are for the moment. Important are the receive commands is set to yes and that input is enabled. It is a good idea, to monitor in and out in the system message window. Ok, let's add one of the executor faders and one of the buttons. It is a good idea, to turn login on.
Then, again enable auto add. We get a control change 1 for the first fader. And we get a note E1 for the button. The rest is as before. Except, we do not need to set a filter for the button. That is it for today. The next episode will deal with the encoders and with some sort of feedback. We will have to do a little programming there. And, we have to adjust the scripts that are underlying the Chatane Grand MA3 module. It is some extra work, but the benefit will be, that you can add your own devices or settings. Thank you for watching.